One of the new features in Toon Boom Animate Pro 3 is the bone deformers. Now, this is borrowed from Toon Boom Harmony. Now, there are no curved deformers, but the bone deformer still is pretty powerful. So I want to show you how to do uh, this is one really cool trick with that. Uh, basically, there is a new menu, the uh, deformer window. So you can go to Windows, come down to Toolbars, and make sure you have deformation um, if you don't see this here. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to mess with uh, Donnie's leg here. Um, so I have this just, it's just a straight leg um, parented to the foot. And what I want to do is come up uh, to the rigging tool here. I've got the leg selected and I'm going to select the rigging tool. And I'm also turn on setup mode. Now setup mode basically means that we're going to see everything in its natural state, which we haven't done anything, so we're still good. So I see this little B with a plus sign, meaning I can add a bone. So I'm going to click right at the hip. I'm going to come down right to about where the knee should be, and this is going to be uh, my little joint or articulator. And come right down to right at the base of the leg. And that's it. Now, uh, one thing I want to do, the joint, uh, the, if you notice the leg is kind of wide here, but the joint or the articulator is this little circle. To avoid any problems, what I want to do is grab my transform tool. I'm going to click on this little square. And I'm going to click and drag out and make the circle about as wide as the leg is right there. Okay, that's pretty important. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to come down and turn off my setup mode. And if you notice, my little leg is now green, which basically means I can go ahead and move and animate things. Um, I'm not going to animate it just yet. Uh, what I do want to show you is this. I can come here and you see the little rotate tool. So I can rotate top part of this and I can come down to the second part right on the calf here and rotate the other part of the leg. Now this is part of what I want to show you. This looks good up until we get this little cross here. Now it's kind of a bad looking thing but I'm going to show you a really cool trick um, that does not involve using any filters or network. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to go back to setup mode and we can see exactly where everything is here and I'm going to grab my cutter tool and what I want to do I have it set up on marquee right now so I'm just going to click and drag out um, kind of cutting the that little deformer the or the knee right in half now the bottom half is cut and selected. So what I'm going to do now is cut it and put it in the clipboard. Command X, Control X on PC. And I want to find a new layer, create a new layer. So add a new drawing layer. And I'll paste Command V. And we'll call this calf. And what I want to do next, place this right under the, the deform rig, right in the timeline. So there's deform, the there's the leg. And I'm going to grab the calf here and drag this as part of the deform. Turn off my setup mode. And now, oh, grab my transform and now if I decide to rotate this we have this really nice little seam going on here this little bend works pretty good and if I decide you know I think I want the uh, thigh to actually be forward instead of the calf what I can do is basically just gonna press the letter B 
and shift V and I'm going to grab calf here. My animate button is not turned on. Uh, but what I want to do is hold on my option key and I'm going to press the up arrow and I can move the calf backward. So it's moving it backward in Z space. Of course, I moved it back with the foot as well or behind the foot. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to hold on my shift key, select the foot, hold on option, press up. And so I can have the thigh in front or if I do option and press the down arrow, we have the calf in front. So that's my little trick and that's a quick little um, intro into the bone deformer and all of the crazy things you can do with that. And of course we still have the foot down here. So if I do shift B, shift B again, I can rotate our foot a little bit here. Looks pretty good. So there'll be more tips coming along and this is a clip from our character animation in Toon Boom Animate 3. And that's now available and it does have a bonus section featuring uh, some of the tricks you can do with Animate Pro 3. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I wanted to let you know that I currently have out two different comprehensive Toon Boom products. One of them is from Infinite Skills and it's Learning Toon Boom Studio 8. And the other is from TonyTeach.com which is Character Animation in Toon Boom Animate 3. Now, both of these titles cover everything from, hey, here's how to work within the interface, all the way to creating a very simple scene. So for more information and to purchase these, just go ahead and click on one of the icons. Have a good one.